Today we're talking about stop ignoring God's warning. Do so at your own peril. Or the subtitle, check yourself before you wreck yourself. And today we're going to talk about when Moses went and told Pharaoh to let my people go. But Pharaoh decided he wanted to harden his heart. So God decided to send plagues. So when you ignore God's warning, it's consequences. And the consequences for each time that you ignore them get worse and worse, just like he did for Pharaoh. You know, you got he had a plague where he turned the rivers to blood. That didn't get his attention. Then he then he rang frogs down from heaven, which was again ignorant. That didn't get his attention. So then he sung then I mean then he in one of the plagues he signed locusts. They eat up all the all the fruits, vegetables, everything. Locusts come in, and that's that was can to the day of destroying your finance. But yet his heart still didn't soften. He said, "Okay, you still you still hard headed, huh, Joker?" So he saw boils that infect the body. And the animals. And just like today, boys, we got what we are known, what we can classify that as like monkey pops today. And what that do, that makes you unrecognizable to even your friends. That your friends don't want to come around you because you're so infected. And folks don't know who you are because of your disobedience. Because you ignoring the warning sign. So after that, they still, heart was still heavy. Still ignoring the warning sign. He said, okay, you still ignoring the warning sign? Now you're going to have to pay the ultimate price. And the ultimate price might cost you your life. In the Bible, it was their firstborn kid. First, you had the locusts to eat up, eat up your your finances, and that's what they do in real life. Money don't money don't last too long, but we all got situations and problems in our life that God is showing us warning sign. But we we decide to overlook them. You know, sometimes the warning signs are small things. Like a person lying to you. You know they lie. But you want to overlook that lie. So when you overlook it, the other person ain't got no consequences. Because they don't got away with it. So you overlooked it. Now the next thing might come. Oh, we stand, we stand out all night. Not coming home. That's because he didn't have no consequences. Uh, she didn't have no consequences for life. I got away with that. Maybe I can get away with this. And as you sitting there ignoring the warning sign, things just progressively getting worse and worse. Next thing you know, you getting hit. Oh, they just hit me because they love me. Uh, 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 he was just mad. Uh, it, maybe it was my fault. You making excuses for him. But it started progressing, getting worse and worse. When you ignore the warning sign, oh, the things always get worse and worse. You know, just like say you got a leak in your plumbing. You don't address the situation, it get bigger, it get bigger, and it costs you more and more money. Well, God say he getting tired of you ignoring the warning sign. He said, please check yourself before you wreck yourself. 
Y'all want to overlook a lot of things that you shouldn't overlook. Oh, I love her. I love him. But they beating the hell out of you. You got to hide your face at, from your friends at work. Because your face is all bruised and, oh, I ran into the door and all that. Stop ignoring God warning signs. Everybody on here, out here, God is showing you some warning signs. Some warning signs about yourself too. You know, stop overlooking certain things. It's all, it's all right. Once you see the warning sign, to act on the warning sign. God, yes, I see it. Yes, I know it, and I, I will obey. I will correct this. Sometime God tell you to shut up. You know, it, the old saying, it takes two to argue. But one, can't, one can argue by itself. It can be done. I don't see it done. But normally, if you close your mouth, then that one going to get tired of talking to himself because he ain't getting no feedback. And they're going to go on about his business once you move in silent. But you got to be able to know the warning signs. God says, that I'm warning my people, I'm warning my people, but y'all not heeding my warning. So, now I got to bring heavier and heavier consequences on you. Every action have an equal reaction. If we don't nip something in the bud before it become a mountain, because once it become a mountain, ain't nothing you can do with it. You can go, you can try to circle around the mountain. You can try to go over the mountain. You can try to go through the mountain. Because once something in your life become a mountain or a giant, then that's a horse of a different color. Folk, God saying, stop ignoring the warning sign. Do it at your own peril. I mean, when you, when you see a situation, you need to correct it. You know? If if some something ain't right for you, if it ain't feeding you, edifying you, or lifting you up, or benefiting you, let it go. Let go and let God. Give it to God. God the only one that can change some of these situations. See, when when we mess up is when we put our feeling into it. Oh, I just love her and love him. Oh, they going to change? No, they not going to change. Except God changed them. You can't change them. You cannot control what I do, and I cannot control what you do. Unless you're in that state of codependency, where you just got to have somebody to tell you what to do. And at that point, you're not thinking on your own. Even a kid know when they doing right and wrong. So in every aspect of your life, examine yourself. Try it and see if it's a God. If it's not feeding you, if not, is it not edifying you, because love don't hurt. Love don't cost you nothing. And if you love something, you don't want to see it crying. You don't want to see it if you... If you see it, you want to say, hey, how can I help? How can I fix that situation? So please don't ignore your warning signs today. God is, God is flashing the red light all over the place in your life. And it's up to you whether you're going to heed it or not. But I'm telling you, it's consequences, and the consequences get worse and worse over time. And it's always going to get worse. It's not going to get better over time. Except God be in it. And if you give it to God, oh, he can fix that situation. He can turn it around. 
He can place your feet back on a rock, a firm rock, and get every aspect of your life un under submission. But if you put your heart heavy like Pharaoh did, the consequence is going to be severe. It might even cost you the price of your life. But we praying that it don't get that far in, in, in your life. We pray that whatever the situation is today, that you let go, give it to God. Stop ignoring the warning signal. Stop ignoring the warning signs. If it's flashing, that means there's something that you got to deal with. Stop making excuses for for things. You know, we can't we can't do what our daddy and our mama did back in the day. We can't blame it on them. Everybody got to make it into heaven on their own. It's not what they did to you. It's what, how you treat them. Because folks is only going to treat you the way you treat yourself. So if you got lower self-esteem, that's the way the folks are going to treat you. That's how they're going to handle you. They're going to... If you want to act like like a slow person, they're going to they gonna look at you as a slow person. But if you act like you're intelligent, they're going to treat you that way. So it all depends on how you portray yourself and what you think about yourself. But first of all, examine yourself and stop overlooking God warning signs. You know, it's it's easy. It's easy. It's easy. The Lord, I was wrong. Lord, I should have shut my mouth when you told me to shut my mouth. Lord, I should have got out when you told me to get out. Lord, I should have stayed home when you told me to stay home. See, when you overrule what God once He send you the warning signal, when you overrule Him, you don't know what God is trying to prevent. By sending you a warning. But if he's giving you a warning. It's danger ahead. So don't walk into the danger. Heed the warning. Y'all just pray my screen in the Lord this morning.